Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary, this is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to hashtag Tassel Tuesday. Tassel Tuesday is an open collaboration and it is hosted by my sweet friend Jovi over at Creating with Jovi. So today I wanted to uh, make a puff top tassel and the theme St. Patrick's Day. So um, I'm here in the kitchen and I'm using my kitchen island because my craft room is a disaster. I have all sorts of journaling things all over the place because I am creating another journal. So instead of moving everything, I thought I'd bring all the stuff out here and make a disaster in the kitchen. <laughs> so let me show you what I am going to be using. I am using this uh, ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree at Christmas time. And I thought, oh, I know it is uh, Christmas, but this green will work for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm using that. Um, I'm also going to be using these ribbons, oh, well, these are the same. These ribbons that have the shamrocks, and I'm um, going to be using some strands of those. I'm also going to be using this like lime green yarn. Uh, this darker green yarn that I had a little bit left. I might as well let's see if I can incorporate that. And then this medium green yarn. This one I think I. Oh no, I got this from Hobby Lobby too. That was on clearance. So to add some bling, I'm using this yarn. And I got this from Hobby Lobby on clearance as well. So I thought that would be cool because I have some of these coins that have the shamrock on it. And I think it says, oh, it says something like maybe good luck or something like that on the coin. Just a little plastic coin. Got these from Dollar Tree last year. I had several. Jack drilled a hole in them so I can uh, string them on the tassel. So I'll do that too. Uh, I think those are the things I'm going to be using uh, to create my tassel. So I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to cut all my ribbons to length. I'm going to sh then I'll uh, turn the camera back on and show you how I lay everything out and uh, show you how I make this tassel. All right, so I tilted the camera down so you can see what I'm uh, doing. So I cut three strands of this uh, ribbon, three of this ribbon, I believe. I think it was three. Yes, I'm getting them all tangled up here. Three of those, five of the smaller ones, the ones with the little shamrocks, and then five of each of the colored yarns. So there they are. So I'm gonna start laying them out. Um, what I do is I like this mat, because it's a guide. See the center square here? It's a guide, so I'm just gonna tilt it like this. And I learned this from Jovi. This is how she places her uh, fabrics to make a tassel. Uh, maybe not exactly this way, but this is how I've learned how to do it from her. So I'm just gonna Crisscross one and then one in the center. Then I'm going to take my next largest ribbon and I'm going to kind of lay it right there on top and then take another strand of that, kind of crisscross, and then this one right in the center, kind of following what I did the first time. Now I have a few more of these smaller ones, so I'm just going to kind of place it there just you know, kind of filling in the spaces, in other words. All right. Let's see, I think I got two here. Yep. Okay. One maybe on this side, and one on this side, and maybe just one in the center, just to give it interest. Now I'm going to go with my yarn. Kind of do the same thing. Lay those across like that. Of 
Alright, and then my lime green, kind of the same thing. Oh, I just realized I didn't cut my gold yarn, so I may have to do that. Uh, let's lay that across that way. And then here's one last piece. Oops, I have one more. I'll just put it right there. Okay, uh, I'm going to pause again. I have to get my gold incorporated in here. And uh, then I'll show you how I lift it and tie it. Okay, I have my gold yarn cut and I did five strands and I'm going to lay those out one in the center one going this direction and I cut them sometimes I cut them a little longer than I need but in the end I can do some trimming and right there there's two more I'm just going to lay them like this and like this. There we go. There we have all the strands. So I am going to take a piece of this yarn and that's what I'm going to tie it with. So let's see. Here we go. I'm going to get um, probably a good portion because again I can always um, cut this down. I'd rather have something too long than too short. Okay. So what I uh, do, and this I uh, learned from Jovi, is you grab it right here from the center, and I'm going to put this string, or this yarn that I'm gonna be tying with, all around the bottom, and I'm going to tie, kind of keeping it right in the center. lift it just to see how it kind of is going to lay before I do the actual knot. And there is the tassel so far. So I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and tie it tight or make a knot on it. I can find the two ends here. Okay, real tight. one more time and I'm going to go the opposite direction to tie it. Tight, okay? And then this I can make a loop here and that's where you're going to hang it from. But for now, that's how that is. Now to make the puff top, I'm going to get another piece of yarn and I'm going to tie it right there to make the puff top. See how that's a little puffy top? And then here's your strands. Then I'll show you how I trim all that. Oh, I really like how this is coming out. So cute. And then I'll hang the coins on. So uh, let me pause the camera because I, I didn't plan for another piece of yarn right there. So I'll pause the camera and then I'll be right back. All right, I have a piece of yarn that's gonna tie and create the puff top. Uh, but before I did that, I thought, well, I'm going to add the little embellishments on. So I added three beads, two lime and a green bead. And then all I did is I tied a loop there so the beads wouldn't come through. Then I strung my coins, three on that side, and then the same thing on this side. So I'm going to take this and tie the puff top. So I'm going to take it like this. Let me... Lay this, let me move this out of the way. So um, I don't really particularly care how those are laying right now because I'll straighten them out. So I'm gonna put that in the center and then this is where I lay down my puff top. Let me get my tassel and I want it about there. And then once I get to tying it, uh, I will see if that's exactly where I want it. So I'm going to just wrap it around like this. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to flip it around. And here is where I'm going to tie it. Tie it 
pretty tight if I can get it to stay. And, you know, kind of tricky with all the coins and stuff. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go again. Super. Okay. I'm going to lay that down like that and let's see how that looks. Now I'm going to move my coins around and see how they're going to lay. They may not stay right there, but I think they might. What I might do is put some glue right there just so they stay in place and not slide down. But they don't seem like they're sliding down. <clears throat> okay. So there that is. I could have tied the puff top just a little bit more secure. And what I might do is get another piece of yarn because it seems like a little loose right there to me. So I'm going to show you how I finish this off. So I'm going to uh, pause the camera once right. again. We are standing right in front of the fridge. No, I'm not going to get a snack. What I do when I am straightening up my tassel and finalizing everything is I have a magnetic hook that sticks right to the uh, fridge and then I hang my tassel. So I'm going to bring the hook up so you can see more of the tassel. So see, now I can have a better look. I can see how it's going to hang and then I can start trimming. Uh, so what I'm going to do now um, just to actually go back a little bit, just to show you how I um, threaded the uh, coin and beads, I used a little piece of floral wire, folded it in half, and then I, uh, that's what I used as my needle. Okay, so that's how I threaded this coin. I put it right in the center and I tied a knot because uh, when I first uh, tied this yarn to make the puff top, uh, I didn't get it tight enough. And instead of, um, you know, taking it all apart, I thought, well, I'm just going to tie another piece of yarn. But I'm going to turn this around because uh, I want it facing this way. I think that is correct. So, see, I just kind of play with it a little bit. So I'm going to take this piece of yarn, I'm going to wrap it around, bring it around this way like this, and now I'm going to try to tie this really tight, tighter than I did my last one because I didn't do it tight enough. Let's see. And it will twirl on me until I get a, a tie on here. Oops, now I lost the end here. Here we go. Okay. Tight, tight. Because you don't want that puff top to come off. Oh, I lost the yarn again. Oh, here it is. I, I deliberately uh, leave them so long so I can find them if I drop it. I'm trying to get this centered a little more. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it around and tie it on the back. So let me flip this around just so I can work with it easier. Oops. Usually I have a book ring, but I didn't wanna put a silver book ring on here. So, well, that didn't turn around, did it? Okay. All right, I'm having issues. <laughs> oh, let me get the other end. Here it is. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna tie a really tight knot. Just really wants to turn where that coin is, doesn't it? Do this way. Here we go, let me, let me do it this way. All right. I just fiddle around with it until I get it right. Now I'm trying to tie it behind it. Mm 
without the gold in it. So I want that to be in it, in the knot. All right, let's try this again. Tight, and then one more time. Get out of there. Tight. Okay, so I'm pretty confident that's pretty tight. The reason, uh, another reason I have this is, can you see that there's longer strands here? So the, here's where I want to uh, trim everything up. And before it's all said and done, I'm going to put glue where these coins are so they're staggered. So let me grab my scissors. I love this part because I would never trim anybody's hair or mine, but I am free to trim a tassel like that. <laughs> I love doing this part, I don't know why. And I'm just trimming them just to approximately the same length. So I just kind of do that and I'm gonna grab all of that and do that. Now, the larger ones like this one, I'm going to put a tail Make sure I do this the right direction because I've been known to do it the wrong direction. I'm going to put a little tail on that ribbon like that. So see how that is like that. And I'm going to grab the other thick one. And I do it just with the, the thicker ribbons. And let's see, I'm sure I've got another one. So I think I put three strands or so. Here's another one. I'm just going to take it. What I'm doing is folding it in half and then cutting at an angle. And let's see. Is uh, that one cut? That was not cut. I need to trim it. And let's kind of keep twirling. And let's look at the bottom here and see. There's this that's a little too long, so I trimmed that a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'm actually liking this pretty much. I'm going to trim this lime green yarn just a touch. Okay. Oh, let's see. What else? What else? I actually like this pretty much. Okay. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to put glue on the coins so they're staggered. So I will do that and then I will show you the finished product. So because I want them to be staggered like that. And as it, they, they will slip down. So as, you know, there we go. So something like that. So they're, and they're in the wrong spot because this coin ought to be on the other side. So I'll maneuver that and I'll play with that. Then I can show you uh, my final St. Patrick's Day tassel. I'm gonna trim this mesh portion off just a little because it's hanging. Just a touch. All right, uh, I will show you the finished product in just a bit. I'll go do a little bit more doctoring. All right. Here is my finished St. Patrick's Day puff top tassel. So I really, really love the way that turned out. The coins are staying in place. I put a little dab of glue right there where the uh, hole was drilled, just a little so it stays in place. And I think that's working out really well. And then a little dab of glue right at the uh, top bead so it won't slide off. So there that is. I really love making puff top tassels using different ribbons, different yarns, eyelash trim, different embellishments. And a big thanks to Jovi for teaching me how to do that. I just uh, enjoy making puff top tassels. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Tassel Tuesday. I really appreciate it. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.